Thank you so much. What a beautiful award. I think maybe the, there's been a mistake. I think there's someone here that got three million more votes, and I think she should have won. I would like to say thank you to the magnificent Hillary Rodham Clinton, who has long been an inspiration to so many of us, especially women and girls. And Secretary Clinton, I'm still with you, and I think Mary Pickford would be too. Thank you so much to Dean Daly and all the faculty. Elizabeth's vision at USC SCA has been nothing short of extraordinary for 26 years. To receive this award, along with my sister, means so very much to me. Jennifer is as smart as she is talented and as creative as she is prolific. She has been a true gift in my life, my best friend, my partner in movie making, and so much else. When I started film school at USC, I had never made a movie. We didn't have iPhones, Final Cut Pro, or drones with 4K cameras. It was before Ben Affleck played Batman. It was before Christian Bale played Batman. It was before George Clooney played Batman. It was even before Michael Keaton played Batman. It was literally four Batman ago. <laughs> I had, however, watched movies, hundreds of movies, and some of them hundreds of times, always with Jennifer. From the time I turned 12, which coincided with our parents' painful divorce, the movies were my life, that moment in the dark, swept up in the story, drawn in by the characters, on the edge of my seat waiting to see how the plot would unfold. Movies could make me laugh or make me cry or see the world or sometimes even myself in a new way. Movies are so many things to me, the anticipation of fastening your seatbelt before a bumpy ride, the thrill of realizing you aren't in Kansas anymore, the loveliness of never having to say you're sorry and the stuff dreams are made of, the beginning of a beautiful friendship and a constant reminder, there's no place like home. If those references don't mean anything to you, just ask your parents. <laughs> in the spring of 1986, I sat where you sit today, graduating film school at USC, next to my good friend and 480 collaborator, graduate student Jay Roach. My father received a graduate degree from USC 50 years ago, and our tradition continues as my niece Elizabeth will be here at USC SCA in the fall. Clearly, we believe it's a great investment. Congrats also to my current Starkey mentee. Hi, Katie, my dear friend, Lucy, and to all of today's graduates. You have made memories and friendships here that will last a lifetime, and Snapchat posts that will last even longer. The interesting thing now is I can see what I thought I knew at graduation, but I really didn't, what I did know, but I hadn't realized it yet, and the very many important things I just didn't know that I didn't know. I didn't know that 10 years after we graduated, I would be able to give Jay his first directing job, bringing a Shagadelic spy to the screen. And if I could grant you one wish, it's that 20 years after you make a movie, random people will still come up to you and say, yeah, baby, in a really bad British accent. It's a real cultural achievement. I I didn't know that four years after my graduation that my father would die suddenly of a heart attack and in an instant my perspective changed forever. If your parents and grandparents are here with you today, hug them a little bit longer. And no, we didn't know that people would love Memento the way that they did. When we were making the movie, we knew that we loved it, but we didn't know if other people would. I mean, we didn't tell the financier that, but honestly, we didn't know. We hoped. I knew I was focused on working hard, very hard. I didn't know, I wish I had known, I guess I would have panicked less if I had known that my hard work would really pay off. I didn't know the preciousness of time. As they say, it is squandered on the young. My favorite line from one of my favorite musicals simply states, no day but today. Sometimes a goal seems too 
daunting, too difficult, just too hard to accomplish. But all you have to do on any given day is just what you can do today. You don't have to get to the finish line and you don't need to feel badly for not doing so. You just need to take one step, just move the needle and be present. It's so easy to fret over things in the past or be anxious about what will happen in the future, especially today. But being anxious about the future literally robs from you precious energy that you can be putting into the now. Winnie the Pooh has the best attitude on this. He asks Piglet what day it is, and Piglet replies, it's today. And Winnie the Pooh excitedly says, my favorite day. We should all be like Winnie the Pooh. I wish I had known that working ever harder, ever more, pushing yourself to the brink, giving up sleep and friends and family does not, in fact, make you more productive, more creative, or more content. I wish I had understood that balance on my graduation day. Here is another thing that I did not know, but I do know now. It's a secret word that will change your life. Plastics. Another one to ask your parents about, I guess. No, not really. The word is mindfulness. 25 years ago, I went to La Jolla for what I thought was going to be a yoga retreat with two girlfriends. One of them was Ron Meyer's wife, Kelly. And I learned to meditate, and my mindfulness practice has changed my life in ways I never could have imagined. It may seem counterintuitive, but stopping twice a day for 20 minutes to seemingly do nothing completely increases my productivity. You know, producing movies and raising three kids on your own gives you the planning acumen of a military general, creating movement schedules like multi-flanked invasions. In fact, since I started this speech, I've made three work phone calls, option two books, and picked my daughter up from volleyball. I also didn't know the power of kindness. The Dalai Lama says, be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. Here's an example. There's a very powerful executive in Hollywood who each year sends a hand-drawn Christmas card to his friends. Oh, not drawn by his hand. I think it's done in China or something, but nonetheless, really thoughtful. A few Christmases ago, in a not-so-great year for me, I received the hand-drawn greeting from the virtual king of Hollywood, and it just made me feel better. I mean, things obviously couldn't be that bad because he had cared enough to send me this special card which just proves that you can be at the very top of the food chain and still practice kindness. So thank you, Ron Meyer. I know you actually draw them yourself. I was kidding, he really does draw them. And I have saved every card you sent me since 1995. One crucial thing that I know is there's nothing more important than creative integrity and back end points, but mostly creative integrity. Movies are hard to make, and if you just want to make money, go do something else. The only reason to make movies and TV and video games and all the visual forms of entertainment that involve storytelling, the only reason to do it is that you can't not do it. I'm serious. People ask me why some of my friends from film school made it and some didn't, and it's binary. The ones who are still here just refused to leave. And I had no idea that my perspective on my education and my mother, who put me through school as a single mother, would change after I had my own children. It's so important to be grateful to the people who support you and believe in you. My family is here today, my sister Jennifer, my mother Leslie, my children Hunter Dash and Serena, Erica, Chris, my magnificent brother-in-law. I'm so grateful for all of you. You are the most important things in my life. Oprah Winfrey says, be thankful for what you have, you'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never ever have enough. I believe and tell my children that gratitude is the path to happiness. No matter what is going on in your life, tapping into your gratitude makes it better. What you pay attention to becomes your life. Try to be vulnerable, it's hard, but push yourself to open up to new people and places and challenges. Nurture your curiosity, your inspiration, and your compassion. Remember that fear kills creativity, but you cannot escape fear by outrunning it, only by facing it down. And unlike the plot of most movies, I'm sorry to tell you, no one is coming to save you. 
And despite the fact that all of us here today are so very impressed with you, the faculty, your parents, your family and friends, the only person you need to impress is yourself. The one thing I know today that you might not have discovered yet, your power lies in your authentic voice. We live in complicated times and we have never had a greater need for storytellers. We need to laugh, we need to cry, we need to understand how we are all alike despite our differences. This, I know for sure, you will do great things. Thank you.